Hello and welcome to another edition of Hockey Classics. In this episode, we have an absolute thriller from the 2003 Champions Trophy in Amsterdam. Arch rivals India and Pakistan lock horns in the last league match. India is playing for pride, having suffered three defeats in four previous matches. On the other hand, victory for Pakistan will help in securing a spot in the final. Leading the Indians is mercurial forward Dhanraj Pillai and keep an eye on young Yugraj Singh. Forward Gaganajit Singh will start the match from the bench. Pakistan is led by Nadeem Ahmed and the danger man for India will be Sohel Abbas, the prolific penalty corner specialist. So let's join the action. Great support in the stadium for both teams. Rivalry not just down there on the pitch. There'll be quite a contest in the stands as well for who can make the most noise. But it's a game that both sets of players are also looking forward to. This is the game that India have to win. Their loyal fans back home will excuse them most defeats, but certainly not one today against Pakistan. Now here is Danraj Pillay. First touch for him. Second one was with his foot. Now Madassa forward for Pakistan. Lovely stick work, and the first corner goes to Pakistan. Danny Raza taking it on. Oh, wonderful goal. Sliding in. Really good quality goal there. I think it was Ryan Bakhtarik who got the final touch. A well rehearsed move, and look at those Pakistani supporters. And really. The expectation was perhaps that it would go to Sahail. Jagraj running down the middle. And the ball's gone between the legs there of the Indian defender. In Viran and lovely diving finish there by Ryan Butt. Well, uh, Pakistan now with the tails up. Coming again, Jawad. Dangerous time for India. Another corner. And Pakistan are really starting to turn the screw on this Indian defence. I expect that Sahel Abbas will take this one. There he goes. Well saved. And somehow India get it away. Good save indeed there from Devesh Chowan. Stood his ground and reacted to the shot. And absolutely right, Rick, it was Sahel Abbas. India find themselves behind. And India wouldn't want to give up another goal because then the old doubts would resurface again. Lakra. Four ball, easily picked out by Mudassa. Nadim. Beautifully done by Nadim. Oh, what a finish! What a stunning goal! And the Pakistani captain has really set this ground alight again. Goals I have seen, but few better than that. Absolutely devastating finish. Well, there's the Deem running. Really, you wouldn't expect him to get to the circle. A little bit of stick work in between there. Perhaps the tackling was soft. He wound up, and that's hit the bottom of the crossbar. No chance for Jaron. What a powerful shot. Perhaps he shouldn't have got the time, but he got it, and that was a scintillating finish. Now, free hit to India. They're looking now to Pelé, surely to lift them out of the doldrums that they find themselves becalmed in. Ball coming up in the air, and the umpire thinks long and hard about it, but then gives India the corner. Now that hands a slight advantage, perhaps, to India on this corner. The better stop, there's the shot, oh, great strike. Game on again, Jagraj adding to his reputation as a world-class corner striker. And now it's the Indian supporters' time to cheer. Good finish. He hasn't uh, running, but really, the shot was too good. He didn't get close enough. And Ali probably could have done better there. He just flicked at it with his hand. It wasn't too far away. Nadim, now it's Pakistan, perhaps, trying to slow the pace down. That goal has given India a little bit more of the initiative. Lovely ball into the circle and not far away. Real end-to-end -end stuff. 
And some frustration, I suspect, in Pillay. He certainly has been gesticulating the umpires. He's coming off now for Gagan Singh. Chance here, but... And uh, it's a very timely tackle indeed there by the Pakistan defender. Pakistan still have it. Drilled into the circle. Goal! It's Mudassa. And where was the marking there? Mudassa was in acres of space. And the pass to him was pinpoint. And this ball's hit hard and Mudassa was low. There's the deflection. Perhaps Chowan should have done better there. But those deflections can be very quick and difficult. A bit like feeding, fielding in the gully and cricket. Delete Turkey taking his time and playing a disappointing pass. It cannoned off the Pakistanis who India will retain possession. Fairly relaxed looking Pakistani bench at the moment. Might be a lot less relaxed in a moment. Real chance for India there. Ball still not clear, the goalkeeper's down. And doing well but conceding Pakistan conceding the corner. We've got one minute and six seconds left on the clock in this first half. And 3-1 uh, will look very different if this goes in, and indeed it does. Jugraj Jugraj. Absolutely devastating finish from Jugraj. And Jugraj has played very well in the field today. There's a real confidence about him. He's been brave in defending the corners. And this is the quality of him here. That is right past Alarm. Alarm's too far out, I don't know why. He's much too far out. I wouldn't want my goalkeeper coming off the line that far. And you'll always get beaten by a quality flicker if you're there, and Jugraj is a real quality flicker. Now, Pelé. It's amazing with India. Whenever they score, they suddenly find a new gear. They need to harness that extra effort. Well, without always the incentive of the goal to start it off. I don't want to harp on the point, but it was Tabir who made that corner, who made that opportunity. He's only been on the field for a couple of minutes. Now, and... oh, almost Ooh. in there. Wazim knows he was lucky. And the half-time hooter sounds. You can only just hear it above the crowd. But what a scintillating half it's been. The game promised so much and has delivered. And it's a mighty relieved-looking Pakistan who leave the pitch they are three goals to two ahead against india but they know they're in a scrap the one big difference in the first half between these two teams is that india's corners have worked and pakistan's haven't pakistan have scored three field goals probably a bit fortuitous two field goals and one corner variation but they haven't scored from the from the main spot and Jawad gets the second half underway Pakistan attacking the goal to our left Shabir throws it in to the pot for Saklain uh, India having got themselves back into the game they were 3-1 behind just before the interval need to start the second half well they don't want to give Pakistan a start again and there's a little bit of a tone to this game now, a little bit of, a little bit of feeling, yes. And, and histrionics there coming from yeah. St. Clain. And Dylan is penalised, big powerful player, mind you, Dylan. And, uh, when you hit, get hit by him, you stay hit. Here he is on the ball now. Pele making a lead ahead, here's Pele. Good interception. Ali Raz is pretty sound back there, made the interception. It was an important one because Pelé would have been through had that ball got to him. Just stepping in front of the Indian talisman now. Oh, this Madassa is dangerous. again. Into the circle, Madassa. He was looking to link up and uh, Jawad had made a good run. But the corner has been given again. Umpire Signet came to the back of a Pakistani, uh, back of an Indian stick. It's a hail. It's a good one. It's unstoppable. And it beats the dive of Devesh Chowan. And it opens up a two-goal cushion again for Pakistan. And just look at that. It is Amsterdam. Sahail Abbas without 
the pressure of the runner. He knows he can put it down low, and Chowan unable to react quickly enough. That's a fine shot, but significantly, the removal of Jugraj played a part in allowing that to happen. Now, Saini has come onto the pitch for India. They need his, uh, his skills. Danger. Jugraj stepping in quickly there. Thought he'd done enough to get a free hit. No whistle. Pakistan come forward. Jugraj is in form today, and when the penalty corner strikers in form and playing well, adds to the confidence with which he takes those situations. This is Dylan. Pele wins the corner. Clever stick work there by Pele. The ball was bouncing. The umpire might have penalised Pele for that, but uh, he takes some sympathy there and gives India a corner. Now he has. A real charge this time. Into the circle. Goal for, for India. Touched home, close range. The goalkeeper had gone to the top of the circle. And India right back in it again. Never say die. Well, the charge only works if you keep the ball in front of you. He does OK there, but an Indian player gathers it. Jugraj it was. And then neatly finished. Alarm out of the action. Nothing he could do. Takur has the goal. And India are still in it. Jugraj cleverly done. Finds Dylan and Jagraj now continuing his run. Lovely ball. Lovely ball across. Projai must. He does. It's four each. Great move for India. And now, for the really for the first time in the game, it's the Indian spectators who celebrate. And will that be a turning point for young Prabjot? Well, again, Jugraj was in the middle of it. Thakur's ball's a very good one. Jugra, Prabjot not in form. He didn't really take it as crisply as he might, but he did enough. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Prabjot coming away. Goes between two Pakistani defenders. Lovely ball. Gagan Ajit Singh. Keepers out. Can, can he find a shot? Oh! He can! I don't believe it. India are ahead. They lead Pakistan by five goals to four. And it's the Indians and perhaps a few Australians as well, Rick, who are celebrating. Gagan, the angle seemed too tight. Where did he find that one from? Well, really, the defenders didn't pay enough attention there. And he was pushed wide by Alam. You would have thought he'd probably done enough, but telling shot from a sharp angle really is a wonderful finish he has scored some very important goals here Gagan Ajit. none more important than that from India's point of view and uh, Pele is back in the thick of things again and that was uh, raw pace there of the youngster and a devastating finish uh, Pakistan have got to really dig deep here They've been rocked, just as India were rocked in that game against the Netherlands. It's a funny old game. India 5, Pakistan 4. And player of the match for mine, Gugraj Singh. When things weren't going India's way, he was standing up. Outstanding. And he kept them in the game, and now... They can win it, another another goal, and they can finish it. Nine minutes left, there's a sorry sight there. Ignacy Turkey there being uh, carried away. And one wonders whether he's got an internal injury in his knee there, as you suggested, perhaps a twist, maybe uh, ligament damage. That would be very unfortunate. He's getting warm applause from the crowd. Ball deflecting off a Pakistani stick. India with their tails up, going forward into the circle, still with the possession. Oh, wonderful goal! Wonderful goal! Gagan Ajit Singh with number six. Well, he really is a live wire. Some wonderful stick work there. Some flat-footed Pakistanis. Absolutely and incredible. He 
it's these young players from India that have done well. That's lovely play. And there he knocks it through the space. And back into the other corner. Marvellous play. And we've got an Indian spectator on the pitch, so I hope they're not going to spoil a wonderful moment here. Gaganajit, goalkeeper, is completely off balance. Brilliant individual skill there. And that's where you want to see it, when there's somebody out of position or off balance or off the wrong line around the circle. That's when we want to see the individual skill, not when they're lined up in front of you. So, another chapter is being written here in games between India and Pakistan. It's a fairly thick volume already, but this is certainly one of the more exciting chapters. And it's unfolding before our very eyes here in Amsterdam. Where did India find this performance from? Well, a lot of emotion at the end, I suspect, but... It was made earlier in the game when they hung in. And look at the spaces now, they're opening up for India. This is Takur, and this is Prabjot, and he couldn't quite reach that one. Didn't quite anticipate. And it's interesting that Turkey, the injured Indian, has been carried around to the team bench. He doesn't want to leave the stadium. Nobody's leaving the stadium. And now the pressure on Tahir Zaman, the Pakistani coach. Could be a coach on occasions like this, in games like this. Emotions running high. A little over seven minutes left on the clock. India leading by six goals to four. Real seesaw stuff, this. And is there yet a twist in the tail? Six minutes to go. If their corners have been working today, then you would you'd feel like they still had a chance, but I'm not so sure. Lovely stick handling skills. Sani having to concentrate there in deep defence. There's Jagraj. Now, Danraj Pillay. Prabjot's made a run to his left. Here is Prabjot. Takur's making a run into the circle. Here's Takur, he can finish it here. He does. It's number seven. It's number seven. What a goal. Well, Pakistan in absolute disarray. Pakistan looking, looking hard for uh, a way back into the game and, of course, exposed at the back. Prabjot to Takur and Takur finishes well. And he is a quality finisher. It was Jugraj who made the clearance, found Palai, Prabjot slipped it, and Thakur finishes. And of course, this increases India's chances of being in the medal round and uh, finding for themselves what a, game. a salvage, if you like, from uh, this tournament. What a game we've got here. And I hope the stewards Oh, alert, they've got some, uh, there'll be some issues after this game, I think. And again, the ball cannoning this time into Gaganajit. He's getting no respite, play goes on. India diving in for everything now. They're three goals ahead. And Chowan keeps his cool, clearing well there. Two balls on the pitch. Struggling to keep up the action with one. Pele off, Tejbir, Tejbir back on for India. Oh, that's a cruel blow, vicious strike there. And that's hit hurt, Viren has caught him round about the hand, and I think the team doctor's going to be going out there again. Clearly, the other player is going to need some uh, some spray. And the umpire's... Was hit hard. I thought it caught him on the hand. I think it did, on the back of the hand, I think. But the umpire's signalling they don't want the doctor on this oh, time. Yes, oh, I think it's hitting him in the hand, but really. The right hand immediately coming off the stick. And I can't see uh, why we can't have the physio on or the doctor on. Anyway, Viren shaking it off. And all of a sudden, it's gone quiet down there in the Pakistani section of the crowd. Well, they were jubilant only 15 minutes ago, and now they're dead quiet. Well, I can't remember, Rick, a more exciting game of hockey that I've ever seen than this one. We knew it was going to be special, but not this special. Well, I've been in some <laughs> exciting ones, but uh, there's been some action here and there's been some twists and turns. 
but I think I said at half time I just had a feeling about India and, and they have uh, they've been playing against the Pakistani team which had a lot to lose and they have fallen they've fallen badly Pakistan earlier in the tournament we said they were leaky and we've seen another example of that today chance for Prab John at close range and how did that stay out that could easily be in goal number eight and uh, to his great credit, Alam did very well there. But the real spring in the step now of the Indian team. Well, these three goals increase their goal difference and improve it. If Australia sees off Argentina, then they'll be in the middle round and India could be playing Pakistan again. Well, they wouldn't be able to buy a ticket if they did. <laughs> it would be an absolute full house. Now, Prabjot. Jaganajit. Here's, here's to be a... Every Indian pass now finding the mark. Prabjot's just forced away from goal. And uh, Saklane is down. And uh, looking to exact some retribution there. I don't want to see any more of that. Saklane there coming across very, very fiery indeed. Well, let's see the action again. Here's the ball. Slipped wide. Oh, oh yes! Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think no. yeah. this game is really exciting. Man. It's an absolutely superb game of hockey to watch. Unless, of course, you happen to be a goalkeeper coach. But we've seen some stunning goals. We've seen real effort from both camps and wonderful fight back from India. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And nobody who's here today will forget this game in a hurry. And Mudassa, he'll want to forget it. Dylan hasn't got his name on the score sheet yet. 30 seconds for India. The celebrations are going to be large. Thakur just plays the time in the corner. India have the game sewn up. They've improved their goal difference. They've come back for a marvellous victory. Pelé, Pelé showing signs of the old Danraj Pelé there. Dylan, Dylan into the circle. Can India finish with another one? Almost. And the whistle's gone, I think. The crowd certainly think it is. They're on the pitch. And India have won a famous, famous victory here. Sahel Abbas showing bitter disappointment. Pakistan have been overwhelmed by India. They led for so long. But they were caught napping, and they found a resurgent India who really did find their form when it mattered. They have beaten Pakistan in an 11-goal thriller. Both sets of fans on the pitch. Let's hope they're there to celebrate. I suspect they are. Another chapter in the legend of games with India-Pakistan has been written. Few will have had more incidents than this one.